Hi everybody, welcome to another video of vintage TV and radio stuff. I've got a, uh, a portable television and AM FM radio by GPX Company. Grand Prix Company. A company that's actually been around for a long time, over 50 years. They've been making televisions and radios uh, and they've branched out to do other things uh, because yes, they still are in business. Uh, you probably can still get GPX products at different department stores, perhaps. Uh, definitely online. They have their own website. And let's uh, let's go take a look at what's going on currently with GPX and get a little history of uh, the company itself. Here's a look at the uh, GPX website. And as you can see, they make uh, all kinds of different things from clock radios to CD players, drones, weather radios, uh, and here's a list of all the other things they make, including karaoke machines and a microphone for that. Here's some more things. Uh, you can order all these items online from them. doesn't say much about whether you can buy them in stores anymore or not, but uh, at least you can get them uh, through the Internet. And uh, here's a look at their About page. Uh, close to 50 years of experience, although it's got to be more than that by now. Because uh, I believe they were begun back in 1971, it says here. So obviously that's been at least 52 years now. Uh, they've been in downtown St. Louis for a long time. And uh, there's another website that talks about the business a little more uh, explicitly. Gives a little more of a history. Uh, formed in 71 under the name Dick Proctor Imports. They got different uh, factories in Asia to make their products in the early 70s, changed their name to Grand Prix, shortened to GPX in 1985, which I believe is the year the TV was made. And then it was sold to a different company in 2004, and I think it's owned by a different company nowadays. But GPX is uh, a going concern for quite a few years, and it's headquartered right here in the U.S. of A. All right, let's take a look at this particular model from back in the 80s. This is the GPX model TVP 5BLK. Um, I don't know what the P and TVP stood for, portable most likely. Uh, 5 meant uh, the screen size and BLK probably simply means black, uh, the color of it. But anyway, that's what we've got right here. Runs on batteries, runs on DC power. Um, obviously has a handle which you probably you can't really see, uh, but I'll show it to you later. And there's other weird features on this that's kind of interesting. But in the first of all, in the front, we'll uh, take a look at the uh, the display in the front. You've got all the different bands, AM, FM, and then the TV bands here. This selects the band you want to listen to or watch, AM, FM, the UHF, and then the high and low VHF bands. Okay, on this side, you've got a uh, tuner knob right here. And this is the uh, on-off switch and volume control. Uh, there's the handle and this is a little button that says push on it. I'll uh, push that and the other button a little later and I'll show you what that is or what I think that is at least. As we look at the back uh, there's uh, different uh, controls here. There's the uh, uh, contrast, brightness, and vertical hold. And then there's uh, on the top a, a plug for an external antenna, a 75 ohm antenna. Uh, there's the power plug for the uh, 12 volt DC power supply. And then there's two little little uh, parts where you can put a screwdriver I'm gonna, in, I'm assuming, a small screwdriver, vertical height and the horizontal center. Something you don't see too often with uh, a portable television like this. And on the other side of the television, there is the uh, the lonely little earphone jack. Must have uh, been naughty, so they put it in the timeout area on the side there. <laughs> but at least it does have an earphone jack. And then there's the other one, other push part here, where you push this up. Here's the bottom of the television and radio, and uh, this is where you put your batteries. The battery compartment's right here. Pops open, and you put a total of eight D batteries in here to make this work. Plus on the back there are the uh, usual things you put on the television, the model number and all that good stuff. Made in December of 1986 
in Korea by Grand Prix Electronics on Madison Street in St. Louis, Missouri. All right, well, uh, I've plugged in the DC power, and I'm going to lift up the antenna a little bit here. I'll also quick show you the handle. Uh, you probably can't see this very well, but the handle is actually tilting the TV up a little bit. And you can use this handle if you want to maybe even tilt it up a little higher. Uh, a design flaw of sorts, to me at least, is that this handle does not want to go past this point. As you carry it, uh, the knob gets in the way right there. But uh, I suppose, and it does bump into the knob, I think. Well, maybe not. But it is good for carrying it from place to place. This is a little awkward, though. It's a little unstable, so I'm going to leave it flat down like that. And hopefully it stayed in focus, more or less. That looks pretty good. Uh, and I'll show you this thing, too. This little thing here, when you hit the two opens, acts as sort of a, almost like a little visor. If I can get it to open up here, as you can see it fold, it slides up. And that might keep some of the glare out from a sun, the sun shining, perhaps, if you're watching this outdoors. Uh, that's really the only thing I can imagine this thing is for, quite frankly. So that's a cool little feature. But let's go ahead and turn it on right now. I'll, I'll set it to the AM band first and turn on the volume. And uh, as usual with <clears throat> the situation we're in here where I, I live, we don't have a lot of uh, AM stations that come in good. So you'll be treated to a lot of static. But we'll hit something eventually here. And there it is. Yeah. I mean, forget first, second, or third team All American. He and didn't it even make second team. Sounds pretty good. But that's really it as far as a, uh, FM or AM. AM uh, frequencies are concerned around here. Now let's flip to FM and see what we get now. Now this is what we're hearing with the antenna in the upright position. If I began to play with it a little bit, maybe we get some some better reception here. Let's try this. That's well, not horrible. And I'm assuming if this radio were you know, outside somewhere or upstairs, instead of being in the basement, it probably would come in a little bit better. So it does work. A little mood music here for you on a Sunday afternoon. So that's your, your AM and FM band radios. And I notice this knob is kind of funky here. I know like the plasticky silver parts coming off for whatever reason. I don't know if you can see that or not, but probably can't because the angle is funny. But anyway, that's the AM and FM band. And of course, what we're going to get now is lots of nothing when it comes to TV reception. But we do see that the picture tube itself does indeed work and uh, I'll just kind of do this but we're not going to get anything but different lines of, you know and this is on the UHF band uh, here's your high 13 11 9 7 etc etc 
and then your low bands, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'll put, I'll put it right in here in the, between four and three, sort of, because I'm going to do what I usually do with TVs, and I'm going to get out the uh, digital antenna, a uh, digital to analog converter. I have a uh, well, one of those uh, transformer things, and I will set that up in a couple of seconds, and we'll see if we can actually see a picture on this uh, this TV. Okay, I've got my usual setup here. I've got a digital antenna that's sitting here in the basement, uh, but it's near a window, if that makes any difference. Uh, it goes into this digital to analog converter box, comes out of a little cable that goes into this little matching transformer, which I will touch to the, you know, get close to the terminals here. And as you can see, there's something here. And I'm going to just kind of keep one one of these leads on oh, there, that usually works best. Oops, I'm tuning the wrong way here. Oh, now we have, don't have a signal. There we go. Okay, and let's change some channels quick here. That's uh, Home Shopping Network, <laughs> QVC. So this is kind of what you would kind of maybe see So what it would look like on the on the black and white TV, only probably hopefully a little bit cleaner <laughs> of a signal. So yeah, that's uh, this television still works more or less. After what? The 1985, I think this was made. So yeah, after 30 some odd years, still works pretty well. Uh, it's the GPX model TVP 5BLK, made by a Grand Prix company out of St. Louis, Missouri. Well, that's the headquarters. I don't know how much they actually produce in America. Most of it's, I'm sure, imported. But you can still go online and uh, buy their products after 50 some odd years of being in business. That's our video for today. If you liked it, like it. Please leave a comment below if you have a comment, good, bad, or otherwise, and we'll be back with more real soon. Thanks for watching.